Hello, and welcome to our science web series, brought to you by sciencehook.com. Today, we'll be learning about love, its chemistry, and its importance for our survival. Attraction and attachment, as much as we hate to admit it, doesn't come from the heart. As a matter of fact, love involves synaptic connections, and chemical reactions, within our brains, despite how unromantic that sounds. With an irresistible cocktail of chemicals, our brain entices us to fall in love. We believe we are choosing a partner. But we may merely be the happy victims of nature's lovely plan, of keeping the human species, alive and reproducing. Researchers propose three stages of love, which are Lust, Attraction, and Attachment. Each stage is driven by different hormones and chemicals. Lust is the first stage of love, and is driven by the sex hormones, testosterone, and oestrogen, in both men and women. This stage depends on characteristics, such as symmetrical face, and proportionate body dimensions, say when you check out a hot girl or guy, at your friend's birthday party. Stage 2 of love is attraction. This is the amazing time when you are truly lovestruck, and can think of little else. Scientists think that three main neurotransmitters are involved in the stage. Adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin. Let's go through these chemicals one by one. First one is adrenaline. The initial stages of falling for someone activates your stress response, increasing your blood levels of adrenaline and cortisol. This has the charming effect that when you unexpectedly bump into your new love, you start to sweat, your heart races, and your mouth goes dry. Next is dopamine. This chemical stimulates desire and reward by triggering an intense rush of pleasure. To get rewarded with the feelings of enjoyment and pleasure, it motivates us to do certain activities, in this case, sex. Couples often show the signs of surging dopamine, increased energy, less need for sleep, or food, focused attention and exquisite delight in smallest details of the relationship. And finally, serotonin. One of love's most important chemicals that may explain why, when you are falling in love, your new lover keeps popping into your thoughts. It makes you obsessive and moody, making you feel happy and anxious about your love. Moving to the third and last stage, attachment. Attachment is the bond that keeps couples together long enough for them to have and raise children. Scientists think there might be two major hormones involved in this feeling of attachment. Oxytocin and vasopressin. Oxytocin is also known as the cuddle hormone. Oxytocin is a powerful hormone released by men and women during orgasm. It probably deepens the feelings of attachment and makes couples feel much closer to one another after they have had sex. The theory goes that the more sex a couple has, the deeper their bond becomes. Oxytocin also seems to help cement the strong bond between mother and baby and is released during childbirth. It is also responsible for a mother's breast automatically releasing milk at the mere sight or sound of her young baby. Researchers have shown that if you block the natural release of oxytocin in sheep and rats, they reject their own young. Conversely, injecting oxytocin into female rats who have never had sex cause them to fawn over another female's young, nuzzling the pups and protecting them as if they were their own. Vasopressin is another important hormone in the long-term commitment stage and is released after sex. Vasopressin works with your kidneys to control thirst. Its potential role in long-term relationships was discovered when scientists looked at the prairie vole. Prairie voles indulge in far more sex than is strictly necessary for the purposes of reproduction. They also, like humans, form fairly stable pair bonds. When male prairie voles were given a drug that suppresses the effect of vasopressin, the bond with their partner deteriorated immediately as they lost their devotion and failed to protect their partner from new suitors. So, that's all about chemistry behind love. Please like and subscribe our channel, and don't forget to share this video.